So Red Zone for me really allows me um, to understand the heartbeat of the organization. It allows that interaction with you know not only management but our hourly team members to to work together as one team and, and really drive some improvement across our facilities. When somebody comes in on a shift now it's easy to look and see how the day went. You have the red and the green so they can actually go and look up and see what the problems were. Communication is a lot more two-way there. Red Zone has made my life a lot easier being a line operator. Getting the iPads out on the production floor and allowing the operators to have at their fingertips the ability to see their overall performance of how their line's performing real time um, was very powerful to them. And it opened up some of our operators' eyes on the monotonous little um, repeatable issues that they were having on a daily basis. I think the Red Zone technology differs from other technologies that I've used in the past in the mere fact that it's so simple. From the time we made the decision to, to go um, with, with Red Zone, it was about six weeks to our first plant was up and running. We had the other two plants up and running within another four weeks beyond that. So really 10 weeks we were up and running with three plants um, from, from a go decision, which was incredible. If anybody can use an iPhone or an iPad, then you already know how to use it. The, the daily line holders, the daily vital signs meetings and the weekly vital signs meetings that are taking place at each one of our facilities. That is really the foundational um, stability that has been established into our daily cadence. The, the morale of the folks on the plant floor, I think, have, have, have you know, drastically increased. It's the, it's the fact that the line operators, the operators are actually leading our huddles now. There's a lot of competition between the lines, so you always have that factor of looking and see what the other lines are doing. So, you know, you got to get with it because everybody wants to come in first. So it, it makes competition a lot more fun around here. Yeah, one of the greatest benefits of Red Zone is the collaboration um, within our plants. You know, if you look at a huddle, for instance, and, and you know, operators and quality of, and, and food safety and maintenance all getting together and, at a certain time and, and communicating, that wasn't happening before. Everybody on the bus is going in the same direction. So, yeah, it's bringing the team a little closer together and really getting away from the blame game and the finger pointing. Our, our Lansing facility, they've seen about a 39% improvement in productivity performance. Um, you know, and our, our Madisonville, Kentucky plant has seen about a 15.5%. We've translated that to improvements in pounds per man hour, which is a direct result um, in improvements to our bottom line. Our manufacturing processes are becoming more efficient. Um, and we're getting to the point now where we're having conversations about we need to start scheduling more product on those lines. Kaizen event savings can, can range really from anywhere from you know, $40,000, $60,000 all the way up to about $250,000, $300,000. Before, prior to, to Red Zone, uh, we did all paper manual tracking out on the production floor um, for all of our quality and food safety compliance checks. And we've transitioned almost all paper um, out on the floor into the red zone system. USDA um, has a, accepted um, the red zone compliance checks um, as an acceptable record keeping uh, process. We were able to utilize it for more than just a, a quality audit. We use it for our food safety audits, we use it for our sanitation audits, our 5S audits, uh, our safety audits. I would not want to go back to paperwork after having red zone. This is much easier to deal with and again with our audits it was very easy during SQF to bring up all of that. I would say if we didn't have the, the coaches to help mentor us and, and keep us on the right path and, and make, making sure that we're following that system in that process, um, I don't know if we would have found our way to the performance levels that we've seen um, now as an organization. Tearing down silos. And, and that, that's sort of not talked about much when you talk about Red Zone, but Red Zone behind the scenes does that. 